This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. Welcome to our praise and prayer class. We're so glad that you've joined us. It's a season of planting. I'm sure some of you have seen the tractors out in the fields and I've even noticed little sprouts of corn coming up and it's so exciting. Maybe some of you are gardeners too and sowing seeds. So we've picked the theme, sow seeds of righteousness. We can all do that. There's a great verse in Hosea chapter 10 verse 12 that says, sow for yourselves seeds of righteousness reap the harvest of unfailing love, break up the unplowed ground, for it's time to seek the Lord. And today we are going to seek the Lord. We're going to hear great stories of how he is at work and we're going to praise him and we're going to pray together. First, we're going to hear how seeds are being scattered, seeds of righteousness, through our Living Legacy team and the Living Legacy Fund. We'll hear a current update from them on how this endowment fund is expanding the kingdom of God and seeds of righteousness are being sown all the way to children in Nepal through the Peace Project. What an awesome ministry that we can all be a part of. Also, seeds of righteousness have been sown through the ministry of Camp Kakwa for so many years and it continues on. Brendan is going to take us right to Camp Kakwa, up on a scaffold so that we can see the roof construction and so that we can continue to know how to pray for camp, what are the needs, and how we can partner with Camp Kakwa. Did you know that for 140 years, seeds of righteousness have been sown through the Wainfleet BIC Church? We're excited that this week we were able, as a church, to have a social event and share a meal. 130 meals were enjoyed, 300 cupcakes were enjoyed, and this was a way that we could celebrate together the rich heritage we have of deep convictions to the faith, God's faithfulness, and how he has carried us and helped our church to endure for 140 years. We give praise to the Lord for that. And I want to encourage you to sow seeds of righteousness right where you are, wherever God has placed you. You have a beautiful garden and you can sow seeds of righteousness. So God bless you and enjoy our class today. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verses 10 and 11. For God is the one who provides seed to the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. And when we take these gifts to those in need, they will thank God. Today, John Finkbeiner and I are glad to be able to be with you to share about the Living Legacy team. Almar and I are so glad that John has joined the team because we've needed the help. Well, thanks, Trevor. I'm glad I could join the team this year, and we still could use some more help. I hope some others will also join us before long. Today, we'd like to share with those participating in prayer and praise the praises from the Living Legacy team. Now, first of all, I think we can praise God for the revival and the expansion of what used to be the Memorial Fund Committee. And we can thank God for Lester Fretz, Ron Shurton, and Pastor Pat, who helped us get our new team up and running. We can praise God that we've been able to begin serving our church family, helping uh, our church family to learn how to be good stewards of all of the resources God has entrusted to us. John, what do you think could prompt us to praise? Well, besides all that, Trevor, when we consider all the resources God has put into our care, our homes and material possessions, our savings and income, what ultimately is our estate, it gives us good reason to praise and thank God. 
The Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 17, that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father who created all the lights in heaven. He is always the same and never makes dark shadows. So we can be thankful to God because everything comes from him. So there are lots of reasons to praise and thank God, but I'm also wondering how we should be moved to pray. Well, there are good reasons to pray. No matter if we believe we have only a little or realize that we have a lot, we should pray that God will always give us wisdom, showing us how to use all the resources he has provided for us in light of his purposes. As a Living Legacy team, we would ask you to pray for us, that God will help us to provide practical resources and ideas for our church family that will be helpful. Also, please ask God to put this in the hearts of one or two other people who can work with us on the Living Legacy team. And John, perhaps we can share one more praise, just giving a little update about the Living Legacy Fund. For sure. With the passing of Lester Fretz, Beth and I wanted to do something rather than just donate flowers that would leave a, member, a remembrance of Lester for the future. And that is how I found out about the Living Legacy Fund. The Living Legacy Fund is our church endowment fund. We use its proceeds to support the ministry of our church. The balance in it has more than doubled in the past year and is currently more than $32,000. This past year, we were able to help provide educational assistance and spiritual support to children in Nepal by giving $431 to the BC Nepal Peace Project. People have been generous. Some people gave to the Living Legacy Fund in memory of loved ones who had passed away. Others give in honor of people who are near and dear, maybe for a special birthday or retirement or anniversary, and others have contributed by including the church in their wills. This fund is a living legacy as it continues to bless others and advance God's kingdom, even after those who contributed have passed away. And so John and I, on behalf of the Living Legacy team, we praise God for what he's done already, uh, for the ways that he has blessed us all individually and then together as a broader church family. And we ask you to pray for us and to pray for one another as we all aim to be good stewards of the resources that God has entrusted to us. Thank you, John and Trevor, for that wonderful report. It is now my privilege to pray for this great ministry. Shall we pray? Lord, we give you thanks for the opportunity to advance your kingdom through the great work being done by the Living Legacy team. Thank you for the vision and hard work that has been done by Pastor Pat, Lester Fretz, and Ron Shurton in establishing this opportunity several years ago. We want to give you thanks for the resources you have blessed us with, which we in turn can use to bless others. It is very meaningful to have opportunity through our gifts to honor the memory of dear loved ones and friends who have passed away. We thank you that we can also choose to make donations to honor those who are still living and are much loved and appreciated by us. And thank you that we have opportunity to bless people through our wills after our death by making provision in advance. And now we pray for your special blessing upon El Mar, John Finkbeiner and Pastor Trevor as they seek to honor you and the church with the gifts which have been entrusted to the Living Legacy Fund. We thank you, we ask you that you will give them wisdom and helpful practical ideas as they plan how best to use the funds to bless people and ministries, whether far away or nearby. And Lord, you know the need for additional members to serve on this team, and we ask that you would raise others up to join with them. And finally, Lord, I pray that you will help all of us learn to be good stewards of everything you have blessed us with, and that we will be generous toward this giving opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer sacrifices of praise. 
the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And do not forget to do good and to share with others. For God is, for which such sacrifices God is pleased. Hebrews 13, 15 through 16. Hi, Wayne Fleet Congregation. My name is Brendan Mater, and I'm standing on some scaffolding up at Camp Kakwa to unveil a halfly completed uh, new lodge roof. So some exciting news happening up here. Um, I know Camp put out a call for some financial aid with regards to this, uh, this new roof construction along with some things happening inside. And man, did Wayne Fleet ever answer the call. I know through the Dollar a Day program and some, um, some other individuals, the camp has proceeded with this massive construction project. Today it was rainy and yesterday it was rainy, so they haven't, uh, the, the workers decided not to be here. But um, it's, it's uh, coming along. There's half of the front side yet to complete. And um, as you can see in the background here, the color is not red. It went to a darker, uh, darker brown tinge. And uh, obviously with some, um, uh, what you would call it, contractors that are, that are doing this, the suggestion was to go this color. So it's neat to see um, some, a, very, a very neat blessing. Some other prayer requests for the camp is right now directors Ryan and Amy are in the process of moving. Uh, they sold their home in New Hamburg and are moving up to Magnetowan. So um, please pray for the, the directors that they, they would find a suitable location. They haven't purchased anything yet as far as I know. Um, a suitable location to raise, uh, raise their family and um, just for that. The traveling mercies and the, the work that goes in moving a whole household, so that would be a big one. And um, for the, the season ahead, right now camp is gearing up for some uh, late to, to early July rentals, but with the current state of emergency, we, we, we're in limbo, just like much of, uh, much of our decisions for summertime are. Um, so just some direction that would, that would come from uh, whether or not we can, we can have rentals here for the season and then um, for the, the family camp and uh, spring or sorry and fall and winter programming so just for the, the direction the path ahead um, and then in uh, in for next year and I think like Ryan mentioned to me in our last uh, little chat the, the hardest thing right now is staffing because uh, a lot of a lot of kids and a lot of um, young adults are looking for employment for the summer and it's just the uncertainty of knowing where we're going to be come August and July. So staffing, uh, Ryan and Amy on uh, the, the getting into a new home would be needed prayer and then obviously for the uh, continued construction project here. So awesome that I could be up at camp to do this. I was just in the area making some deliveries and uh, popped in and it was nice to be able to show the praise and prayer class this for, uh, for our June meeting. Anyways, have a good one guys. Well, I got my favorite Camp Kakwa shirt on. Got my favorite fishing hat. Got a campfire, I got a guitar, and we're just gonna sing a little bit.
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Camp Kakwa. We thank you for your faithfulness through the years that you've blessed it and allowed it to maintain a, a viable mission ground for BIC, BIC Canada. And we thank you, Lord, for uh, the donations that we recently received to allow us to do the, uh, the building projects. And, and Lord God, that you just continue to bless the camp. And we just thank you for that, particularly over the pandemic season. We pray, Lord God, for executive directors, Ryan and Amy Terpstra, and, and as they sell their home and they seek to find a place in Magnetoan, Heavenly Father, I just pray that you would just provide the house that uh, and locate a suitable home for that will suit the needs of the family. And we just pray for the season ahead, for the, for the summer rentals, Lord God, for uh, family camp, for the fall programming. Heavenly Father, uh, we just need a, a miracle from you, that you would just continue to be faithful and bless the camp. We also pray, Lord God, that as things open up, as the lockdowns are lifted and, and regulations loosen, that God, you would just provide the people to serve. Heavenly Father, we need sta staffing at the camp, and we're just praying, knowing and believing that you who have begun a great work will take it to completion, and we'll be quick to give you the praise. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Praising my Savior all the day long.